What is the overall goal of a marketing strategy? Now I'm going to talk specifically about strategies versus tactics, because a lot of you think the tactic is the strategy, and that's why you're not winning out there in that world. I'm going to talk about three things on this video today. The impact of your marketing strategy, which needs to be a big piece of it, and a lot of you haven't even paid attention to it yet. Number two, marketing effectively on a budget. And I hate that word, but like you've got to have a certain amount of money that you're willing to spend to generate new leads in a monthly time frame. And there's a variety of tactics that I will talk about in that. And then number three, the importance of content marketing and scaling your business and your growth. We went from the pandemic and very small, small engagement online to now officially being verified as an influencer and actually being paid on all social channels. So where are you in your marketing strategy? Where are you in your marketing goal? So overall, your goal needs to be lead growth, right? How many new people are you bringing in a month into your CRM, into your database, and which channels are getting it, which initiatives are getting it? Back in the day, I would be looking at it from the standpoint of which stages produce the best leads because I was on stages. I was doing this all offline. As everyone's come online, and you need to be here, by the way, if you're not, let's look at your overall advertising strategy. So in some ways, you could say, well, when you were offline, you didn't spend money on advertising. Well, I was the advertisement. So I spent an enormous amount. In fact, I'd say I spent more in that model than we spend in this model, but you've got to have an advertising strategy. So I'm actually going to read some very specific advertising strategies because some of you think they're tactics and they're not. You want to ensure the continuity between your ads and the landing pages for the better conversion. So just because people see your ad once they go to your page, if they're not converting, you've got to watch that. And you've got to have some experts that are really great at digital marketing. Watch those conversion strategies. So you want to collect leads through free offers and free lead messages magnets before you offer priced products and services. Some people go straight to a price on product and services, we think too soon, which actually then could uh, reduce your conversions. And then you want to leverage your ad placement on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and make sure that you're actually tracking your ROI for what you're spending, how many conversions and leads are you getting? And we go another step further is are those late leads then converting into a customer? So your full ROI of all of your ad campaigns and ad strategies needs to be in play. Now, Number two, so how do you market effectively on a limited budget? You know, a lot of people think you need to spend 10,000 a month and you hear some of the big influence say, why well, spend 100,000 a month making millions? If you're not even in that category, those aren't relative conversations for you. Just by doing $25 a day, you can get some good significant results. So specifically, I'm gonna read some very clear like strategies to the tactics. Using Instagram reels, for example, and strategically boosting them to maximize the reach. Use many chats for better conversions. So Instagram will boost your post because many chats will 100 times your engagement with comments and DMs. So huge strategy in that. Also building relationship through direct messaging to convert the followers to a lead. We have teams that do this outreach all the time. I actually have four people that work out of office that are constantly doing the engagements inside the, the DMs and actually pulling leads straight out of social channels into a spreadsheet and wanting to have a conversation with us. And without an appointment, you're not going to get a sale. So you want to allocate your budget wisely across what you can spend, whether it's $25 a day on an ad, or you can spend up to $10,000 a month. If you go agency style, I can tell you there's a lot of agencies that are, they have a lot of accounts. They're going to give a little bit of time to your account versus you bringing it in-house and closer where you're monitoring and changing up the ad and the scripts. Like you shouldn't keep an ad up for a long time if it's not doing any conversion, like probably even more than a day. But you got to have a team on that that's watching it. So I'm speaking to a lot of you, I'm going to do it myself marketers, you're going to need to hire a team who has expertise in this that has been trained that actually knows what to follow know so the statistics to track so you can actually do the movement. So you as the expert need to be out here doing what I do, which is the content and having the team doing the posts and the boosts and cutting a lot of different video reels in different times and different segments. So before I talk more about that importance, because you hear me saying hire a team, hire a team, hire a team. I want that team to be in-house. Uh, right now, we can start it for you for as low as $297, but or you can go to an agency. You're not going to get an agency to get up 
and out and do really good marketing. I mean, if you find somebody for $2,500 a month, I'd be shocked. Most of them are going to start about $5,000 to $10,000 a month just for the strategy. That's not the execution of the ad spend. Before I go into a few more points on that importance, I want you to be here five days a week. I want you to click the notification button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And when that notification comes in, I want you to watch the video and grab our journal and actually create a learning plan, an action plan around how you're going to make more money. How are you going to keep more money? How are you going to invest more money? And how are you going to use a team? I've assembled that team for you so you don't have to do that heavy lifting and you can focus on you, your expertise, your content, and your revenue. The importance of content marketing and really scaling your business. So the number one strategy is you creating more content and being out on a consistent continuum. You have to be out on a, on a daily basis. I don't know how many people you'll see them post once, you don't see them post again for two or three weeks and there's no congruency in their messaging. So get a regular post cycle going and make sure you post on the sites that are producing the most ROI for you. For some of you, depending on your topic, you're going to do better over in the X, the Twitter world. Some of you more on LinkedIn, some of you more on TikTok or Instagram. But again, you've got to have a team that's going to support you. So you as the expert need to be leading the content and the offers and the pricing while you have a marketing team. And again, ours can do it for as low as 297 a month. To get started, to even have a conversation with our team, go to askrms.com, which stands for Rapid Marketing Systems, and let us help you jumpstart your marketing strategy so you actually can get some like some traction and some growth. There's no reason that you're not making 100000 a year. So those of you that are small business owners struggling, get our RMS system to help boost. Those of you that are over 100,000, going from 100,000 to a million is all in your marketing and sales strategy. So let our teams help you. If you have any questions at any time, go to asklaurel.com, ask a question, make a request, because we are here 24-7 for you, your business and money needs. Talk to you tomorrow.